This will be the fifth type of fudge that we have made now. Because, and the reason why we keep doing it different is we're making all these different types of fudge for Christmas, right? So then there's a variety and they don't all taste exactly the same. So we're changing it just a little bit. Now this one we're going to be using powdered sugar, cocoa. Um, we're not going to be using vanilla. We're going to be using hazelnut. Okay, this is going to be our flavoring. This is something um, that they typically use for flavored coffees, flavored hot chocolates. We're going to use pecans, but not throughout. We're just going to sprinkle it on top. And of course, you do need some milk. And there's no salt in this mixture. And butter. The same butter. Okay, now we just, uh, okay. uh, we're going to use three and two thirds cups confectionery sugar. Okay, except. I know, but you have the cup right in front of you. Okay, good, because all my measuring cups aren't in there. Well, the measuring cups, that's I don't right know there. where they are. They must be in... No, they're there. I found them. They're, none of them... Okay, somebody moved everything from where it belongs. That's what happens when people move things. Mm -hmm. See, that's two full cups when you fill it up, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Because we got a two-pound bag yesterday for a better price than we've been paying for our one-pound. Here we go. Two cups. Yeah, because we, we had to, uh, part of our fudge has already went bye-bye. So we're doing three and two-thirds? Yep, which is one and two-thirds cups. Okay. 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 That's close enough. That's close enough. Okay, maybe just... Don't put any more in. I need more. Oh, okay. If I do one more, I need more. Ah, that's true. Okay, so... Just mix it in. Now, let's put our butter stick in. And our, our, our hazelnut's not, not going to go in until it's nearly, until it's, uh, nearly finished. Yes. Which is kind of like what happened with the vanilla. Yeah. It went and, out at the very end. And, okay. the, um, and, and, cocoa. Uh, and cocoa. You need uh, one half cup cocoa. Okay, let's hope that it's... You still good. have the cup thing in front of you. Oh, I can still use that. Oh, that's right, huh? Yeah. Okay. Here happens to be a spoon. Okay, let's see if we can get this up. Because it's just about the end of the line. From now on, the cup will go nothing but holding the thing that we're working from. So. What's that? Instead of go hold the devices that yeah. we're using. Okay, you put that in, and then you put your um, you put your what is it, one quarter cup of milk in it now. People will can tell this is going faster than what we just yeah. went through with the blocks. Okay. Now you um, actually all you do is just put it in in the in, in now and cook. You just put your little thing in your little container over there. Yeah, we're gonna leave it out right here where it's all yeah. powdered. Okay, so in we go. That goes in for um, you know about two, three minutes. So just one, every one minute we bring it out and stir it. So. This is a lot faster than the other one. It took 17 minutes to get done. The other one took 17 minutes? It was because you're melting those blocks. Yeah. But Actually, still, you know what? It didn't take as... Okay, here's part of it. It doesn't take as long to melt the blocks as you would think. But it takes longer to stir it because it's... Well, no, it, it takes long to stir anyway. The stirring is what you're going to have hit. What it was, it, it actually still took uh, about 10 minutes less time than what they would have predicted. Okay. So now we're getting more containers. Because so. oh, when we get this. done, they're going to be poured directly. Yep. So, you know, we still got one more. Oh, we still have to do that, huh? We still have one more to go tonight. This is our second fudge for tonight. Yes, yes. And uh, yes. so the second fudge will go into a, I mean, the thir first fudge will go into a container all by itself, I think, won't it? Which one? Yeah, another one we just put yeah, in the freezer. Yeah, we'll probably put another container. We'll mix, we'll mix no, them No, but all. these will be two. They got to, what we're going to do is one will go in the big side, the other will go in the small side of these two containers. Mm -hmm. 
But the problem with the other block is that it really takes up one pound all by itself and it takes the longest to solidify, which is the funniest. It starts out as fudge. It, it, start, baking, it starts out as baking cocoa, block. which is solid block, and yet it takes twice as long. I, that's, why, that's why my mother would never use chips and blocks, mm -hmm. because the, it, it takes too long. It takes long. longer. But you know, what? one of the things it does is it's great if you want to do those chocolate swirl things. Yeah. No, it, it's easier to play with if you want to get artistic. That's why they use blocks. Mm -hmm. A block will allow you to, a block allows you considerably more leeway the other day. Oh, totally well, we forgot. Yeah. We started talking. So, well, it just, it, it just, just the minute thing is an arbitrary figure. It just, it's two to three minutes while it melts. Yeah. You just want to stir it in, you know, two times or three times is arbitrary. I just like to do it around a minute. So what would that one come out? I'm going to tell you when I look and see. It's over a minute. Well, then it, this is where close It's not quite two, but it's over a minute. Well, then it only gets done twice this time. Yeah. That's all that's important. And as you can see, like this one, I'm over it. See, you can tell by how I'm stirring it. Yeah, it's a lot easier to stir. Mm -hmm. So the next time out, we'll let it go till it ends and then bring it out because you will have to go in one more time after that. Okay. Because we'll want it to um, boil. Yeah, we're going to leave the spoon in this time. Yeah. And then we're going to let it boil. Yeah, we'll let it. it we'll, we'll leave it in, and then we'll take it out and stir it, and we'll go again one more time because we've got to mix the hazelnut in at the end. We have a minute and eleven seconds. Okay, cook it for another minute and eleven seconds. Stir it, put the hazelnut in, and then we're gonna um, let it come to a boil, okay. which will probably be another minute after. Well, you know, so because yeah. we we want it to be see. there but we don't want it to be strong you boil it off it's how you handle a liqueur if you put it in but this isn't a liqueur no but if you put a liqueur in it's the same difference oh. you want to boil it off so, we'll at least so we decided decided to use a hazelnut with this because we're doing pecan yeah right and it's still a nut i could have done with another flavor like maybe caramel yeah. um, and the pecans are being sprinkled on the top of this one yes. unlike the other one. The other one is just straight solid fudge block, but they'll be broken into pieces. Yeah, with the pecan stirred inside. This is just tossed on top. Yeah. So oh. This one come out. We stir it. When it's ready, it's got to go. I know. See, this is real time. This is only seven minutes, and it's almost totally finished. I know. Can you believe it's that quick? Yeah, it's far faster. I spent years with my mother with a stove. Yeah. You know, because my mother was a pastry chef. That was her specialty in the restaurant industry. She became yeah, a manager. She still did the pastry. So starting to boil? Yeah. Okay. This is boiled. Uh, then add your hazelnut right to it now. One tablespoon. Okay. One tablespoon. Oops. Yep. Now we just mix it all in. And then I want to put it in for when it's all stirred, 30 seconds more. Okay. Because you still, when you do the final thing, it should be boiling. 30 seconds. Because remember, on a standard cocoa recipe, the last thing in is the vanilla or your additive. With the other one, the blocks, unfortunately, it sort of doesn't, you know, it just goes in because it's a blocking mess. So, like I said, we're um, nine minutes, it will be done and ten. So, and that's something that is that much faster. Now you just stir it like a little fiend. So you can, you, you can watch my arm and you can tell how much faster it's going. It's, it's a thinner mixture. Yeah. Which what the sort of the oxymoron. It's a thinner mixture, yet it takes less time to um, solidify. You know, solidify. But if it was boiling, you know that it's probably going to solidify really well. Yeah. That's the trick. You got to bring the, you got to bring it to a boil. Here's another trick for the people at home that don't understand it. If it doesn't work right, you can put it back in the thing and cook it again. Oh, isn't that the nice part about it? Yeah, you get a second shot at it. 
as long as you sit there and don't overdo it. You can bake it to death, but you get a second shot with fudge. So isn't that nice? That's, a, that's fudge that you didn't put anything into. Oh. If you put nuts in it, you don't get that second shot. You can, but it's going to change it. It changes the consistency. Yeah. This way that, you know, the You, you the put top, it in the on the top and just let it set. So, so just stir it until you feel right. Well, it feels good, but it needs to feel... What, what was, we're, I'm stirring it until it starts to feel like it's starting to thicken. Yeah, and then it starts getting hard to stir. Because remember, the container is hot. If you doubt, if you doubt yourself, put some water in a Can clear container. Want to show? Yeah, and just do it again. We'll just go over and put some water in the container. And uh, like I just said, tap water, and then just tap water. Yeah, and then you you sit there and squirrel it. Now you turn it, turn it, and turn it, and turn, it turn it until you drop it out. Oh, you saw it. Yeah. It's all solid at the bottom. Which means you just stir and then you just It looks like little polywogs. That's what this should look like, is little polywogs. And then just pour it in there? Yeah, pour it in half of one and that went long side one and the short side the other. Okay, here we go. You're seeing the fudge actually being done right in front of you. See, now it's starting to get hard to come out. <laughs> now you can see it coming out like that. Okay, now we're, we're going to go. See, the, it, the fudge factor is just the little drops in the water because that will always tell you because a lot of people won't believe that it's, it's, it's done because the container's hot, folks. You, no matter what you're using, your container's going to be warm. And see, you can see when you're starting to pull it out, pour it. Yep, it's getting thicker. As soon as she finishes it, then she's going to dust her tops now. We're going to dust the tops. Oh, okay. I'm going to do just a little bit more. Look at that. Yeah, see? Okay, dust it before it gets too hard. Okay. And this is going to be really exact. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're, we're, we've been making really god awful expensive homemade fudge because. Because um, I like good ingredients. <laughs> yeah, this, it depends. You know, if you're going to do something for a holiday's treat, you use the good. You want, you want to use a good ingredient. See, when you go and buy it to be done, unless you're, you know, like this gourmet expensive ones, right? They don't. You, they're trying to make a profit. They are not. You know, right. Yeah. And if they're using really expensive ingredients, you know, because it's usually pretty expensive. Yeah. See, this one is actually finished five minutes before the other one did. Oh, did it? That's just that much difference is five minutes. And the nuts off. haven't sunk inside. They're all sitting up on top. Yeah. So, no, we do it. We, oh, we go to the next one. You can really dump all the icing you want now. Well, what did we have in here? I'm trying to... Okay. That <laughs> is the last one. That is the one... That we did, oh, the with, combo we, of were, we were short on everything. It's also, um, we were totally short on everything. Okay. Oh. So, the one behind it has hazelnut in it. We'll have to, we'll have to put little things on it because I remember. Yeah. We see that icing is starting to solidify now. I know, this looks so amazingly yeah. good. Yeah. So, well, I know, we, I'm, you know, so. We're, <laughs> This one's the one we we were guessing on everything because I was short on ingredients. Oh yeah. So I end up making an icing that's even richer than the other butter icing, because this is butter mocha. So. <laughs> I know it is really. So now we're going to use all our icing. She thought I had too much. I did. Well, I mean, oh, really generous because I know we have a lot. Well, no, but it, it's meant to be generous on the sides. And what people need to know, if you have too much icing left over from what you're doing, 
put a lid on it, and if you put it in, you put the container in hot water, oh. you can uh, loosen the icing up again. You can use the icing. Well, people use it for all the time for cupcakes and things. Right? Yeah, but a lot of people they throw it away. Oh, you know, I didn't know that. More, you know, you know, just put it in a container, and if it gets a little with a closed container, if it gets a little hard, just um, you know, most of the time you can just put it in a warm water. You know, in a bowl or in a glass or something in warm water, and it will loosen it up. Because you really don't throw this stuff away if you don't have to. But I figured that, you know, that we're going to be generous because we wanted to really, you know, show off. And like I said, this will have to go back in the refrigerator um, and set longer after it's done. Because we, we did what we did, we poked a, a, a toothpick in it, the toothpick come up dry. So so it may be a little bit soft, but the toothpick did come up dry, which means it's just pure sugar. Yeah, this is... You set and cut it with a knife. This is pure, pure, pure sugar. Yeah. And she's going to get creative in a second. So you can see how my, my icing is already yeah. turning on her. We're generous with the icing, as you can see. Well, yeah, because I. This was the one that we meant to be generous with the icing on, but we had enough icing so we could do half another layer. Or so. Because the 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 volume was the same as as regular as we had did before, but the it was thinner. It was, so. Yeah. So okay. So what we're going to add on top of this. Because this one is um, chocolate. This is a mix, yeah, like the mixture of condensed milk it's con as well as sugar. It's condensed milk, uh, sugar. condensed milk, confectionery sugar, mocha. I mean, it's got it got coffee in it. Which is in the. Um, is it's in the. It's in the. Uh, is it in the? It's the, in the, the icing fudge? and it's in the in the in the fudge both. Oh, okay. So, so we, we did couple ones on the other one. So this one I'm going to use chocolate shavings. Yep. Yeah, it just meant it's Christmas, folks. It's Christmas. You want all the, you know. Yeah, you know, this is this is not meant if you if you're on a calorie counting thing, you don't want anything that we've made today. <laughs> Nothing that we have made today do you want. Fudge. It's another day of fudge. Yeah. So. Yeah, chocolate shavings. I love chocolate shavings. These are rich and these are bittersweet chocolate shavings. Um, yeah. I, these are, I get these from Fresh and Easy, which I just, yeah. these, these are really, really good. And, and when you get then, done, you just, uh... And then I'm going to add some more of these. This is Liquid Caramel Kiss Mix. This is from Hotel Chocolate. Yeah. This is, I don't remember what, I mean, this is, this is decadent. This is extreme gourmet. This yeah. is by a place where they have their own cocoa bean farms. Yeah. And then before we finish it up, we'll sit there and gently take our fingers and and pull, push this in just a little into the icing. Okay. So this is... And then we'll show people what everything we've done is like. We've got lots there. I mean, a lot of stuff we've done. Can't he make it? Oh, look at that. He tossed it from the side of the room over. Maybe the place is a little hot. Well, I mean, this is... This is total, total... Yeah. Oh yeah, I just want to eat it. Yeah. Okay, but I do share these things for holidays. Yeah, I just, just want to eat it though. It's just that we're trying to show you how much you can do. It takes you time, but it takes you twice as much time if you're doing it on an oven. Yeah. So we've just done this, you know. Um, was it? You know, we've done an awful lot of fudge today, especially yeah, it's fudge. another fudge day. And some of it just out of my head. So this is another, yeah, this is another fudge day. So we've got a, um, well, you were up, your mom was a... My mother was a pastry, pastry chef. Pastry chef. Yeah. So look at this. Oh. So she was a, she was a general, she was general manager of the largest of the country, but she got started as a pastry chef. She was a waitress and then became a, became a chef, and then her specialty was pastry, and she went from there. Because most chefs actually run their own restaurants. My mother didn't want to run her own restaurant, so she ran a thousand. Yeah. 
<laughs> yeah. I know. Brilliant. I never understood the logic. So, that's the way it... Oh, this is so good. I just like... You know, she's going crazy. Now just take your little hand and just push down on the top of it. Okay. That's just to make certain it's seated. Yeah. It's seated. It's seated. Yeah. Because that is mocha fudge, mo peanut and butter mocha fudge on the top. As a frosting. Uh, uh, as a frosting on top of, of, of mocha chocolate underneath. So. Yeah, it's decadent. So, <gasps> so there we go, folks. So we can say just Merry Christmas again. Merry Christmas and happy fudge. <laughs>